All right, in this video, we're going to be covering uh, lab number one. It's the Dow Caliper Steel Rule Practice. We're going to be taking about 11 different sockets, Stanley half inch drive sockets, and we're going to be measuring various parts of this socket. For instance, this is a 5 8 socket. Right here is 5 8. So we'll be uh, going through this one right here. So, what we're going to do is take our dial calipers. We learned about these in our PowerPoint and in our quizzes online. So, it's going to ask for the large OD. So, OD is outside diameter. That's 0.921, and you know that from the PowerPoint. And um, the inch rule, we're going to take the large diameter and it's going to be, let me get my glasses on, it's going to be about uh, 7 eighths it looks like. Maybe a little over 7 eighths, so I'm going to write 7 eighths. And the metric side, it looks like it's going to be about Oh, 22 millimeters. So I'm going to write 22.0 millimeters. Okay. And usually in the um, inch, we're going to go three places over. For the inch rule, we're going to give a fraction and reduce it to lowest terms. And in the metric rule, we're going to go one place over, and it's either going to be a zero or a five, because the rule measures to a half millimeter. Now I'm going to measure the small OD. Looks like about 879 thousandths. Mm, 879. Was it 878? 879? Yeah, right about there. And uh, now we're going to use the inch rule. We're going to measure this across with the inch rule, and it looks like about 2764. And we can't reduce that anymore, so that's what we get. Now we're going to measure the small with the steel rule, uh, with the metric steel rule. And we're going to get about 21 and a half, maybe, let's see. About 21 and a half. So it's going to be 21.5 millimeters. Okay. Uh, now we're going to measure the length of the socket. And we want to make sure we get it nice and flat. And we're getting 1.495. 1.495 is what we've got. Okay. Convert that to metric. Now the way we convert it to metric, we take 1.495 times 25.4 and we get let's see 37.97 we only go two places over is absolutely fine now we're going to measure the inside socket across the corners okay uh, that's the inside of the socket not the square inside of the socket across the corners so we want to get inside here we're going to go from the outside to outside in on the inside of this 12-point uh, socket. So if you're in doubt, just move it around and you'll see that the largest dimension you get will be opposites, okay? So it looks like we're getting 726 thousandths. 0.726. We'll double check that. It's good to double check. 26, 27, right around there. 726, 727. Depends on when they manufactured the socket. They had a tolerance, so, uh, and I'd give you about 4,000 either way on that. Now convert that to metric. Oh, wrote it in the wrong place, didn't I? 0.726. Convert it to metric. 0.726 times 25.4. 18.44. 18.44 millimeters, mm, afterwards means millimeters. Now I'm going to measure inside the square at the flats. So I want to get across here at the flats, and I'm going to measure just about like this. 
and I want to get the smallest measurement. And it looks like I'm getting about 512 thousandths there, and about 512 there, so 512 thousandths. I have to squeeze it down there from my mistake while ago. Now 512 thousandths convert to metric, 0.512 times 25.4, I get 13 millimeters. 13.00 millimeters. The last thing I measure on this is inside across inside the square across the corners. So I'm getting uh, 687, 690. So if I get two of them that are a little bit out of whack there, I can squeeze it and wiggle it around. I can get 688 to 690. 688 to 690, I may say 689, just in between the two. Okay, 689 thousandths. Now I want to convert that to metric. 0.689 times 25.4 is 17.50 millimeters. Okay, so that's how we're going to measure our socket. This is the very first lab that we're going to be doing. So uh, most of the confusion people have is on the uh, 12 point on the socket end. It's across the corners, farthest distance you can get. In the square, E and F are on the flats and on the corners. Okay, so if you get various uh, readings and they vary just slightly, a couple thousands, just stick it right in the middle and I'm giving you about about four thousandths either way, uh, so you should be okay. It, it lets me know that you know how to read this properly or not. Okay, so I just did number three for you. Okay, so nobody should get number three wrong. And if you have questions, again, like all the other videos, just hunt me up in the shop and ask me whatever you need to ask me.